We are uh, facing a new and a hopeful phase in uh, the Libyan revolution. Uh, Greece has uh, made a very specific proposal now for the humanitarian aid, uh, the dire need for water. Uh, we can transfer uh, uh, up to 175,000 uh, cubic meters of water uh, every 10 days, uh, which will increase the capacity for water in Tripoli by 50 percent. Uh, and we can do so, of course, if there is the necessary funding. And this is where our first proposal to help this uh, transition now in Tripoli. But, of course, we have a future ahead of us in uh, the building of democracy, the democratic institutions, the reconstruction of Libya. It is, of course, a Libyan-led process, but it's one where we all can help. I also mentioned that it's very important that the uh, oil production uh, is managed in a transparent and, uh, and, and a way which, is, which strengthens the state institutions. And Norway made a proposal, it's a, it's a model in, in, in how one handles uh, the uh, revenues and resources of oil. Uh, and I think this is very important for Libya and it's also very important for democracy. Finally, I think that uh, this is just, we're seeing in Libya just one part of the, of the many acts of the, uh, of the Arab Spring, the Arab Revolution. And uh, it's a great opportunity for uh, Europe and the Arab world to meet together the peoples of our countries, east and west, north and south in the Mediterranean, and make the Mediterranean truly an area of peace, cooperation, but also stimulating growth, which our region does very much need. Sir, you're impressed with the Libyan leadership now and you feel that they can get the institutions that have been lacking over the last 42 years back into place? Well, this is a challenge. Uh, no one can expect from a revolution and from a country which didn't have uh, institutions, and I know this because Greece went through a dictatorship also. Uh, you have to almost begin from anew. And uh, this is where I think the international community, but also countries that have gone through similar problems, that have lived through dictatorships, authoritarian regimes, we know what it means to try to build from bottom up the democratic processes. But we'll be there next to them to help. It's a Libyan-led process, but I think it's a great, great hope for, for big changes in the Arab world. We heard today of France's stake in Libyan oil production. I mean, what's the position of Greece in that, I mean, for your participation? Well, we have no specific, uh, 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 at this point, uh, desire or, or, or demand for any participation. I, I just mentioned a very general principle that we know that uh, oil production in countries can be a, a blessing, but it also can be a curse. If it's not managed well, it can, it can lead to corruption, it can lead to uh, uh, elites uh, uh, or some, some uh, gaining profit, but the people suffering. Uh, and I think this is why we need very strong institutions for the benefit of the public, for the benefit of the Libyan people. And this is what, where Norway has made a proposal, which I, I very much support. Thank you very much.